Hey guys, this is Barry once again with another episode of Video for 258. You know, sometimes you need to copy text from either a website or some other Windows application into VI, so let's do an example of that. Let's say you've got, uh, you need some lorem ipsum. So I'm going to go to lorem.sellens.net and I'm going to copy a section, get it selected there, and then once it's selected, however much you want, right click, copy. And now that's on the Windows clipboard. So now we can flip over to VI. Position your cursor where you want to insert the text. I for insert. And now I'm going to use my mouse and just right click. And as long as you are in insert mode, when you right click, anything that's on the Windows clipboard will be inserted right where your cursor is. See, I'm still in insert, so if that's all I'm going to do, I'm going to hit escape, and that takes me out of insert, and just to save everything, I'm going to colon W, write that, and boom, I've got that part saved. But sometimes you need to go the other direction, so we're going to make a selection in VI. Uh, just click and drag to select the text that you want to copy and paste into a Windows application. Uh, I went a little too far. Try not to get the line numbers. Once it's selected, it's been copied onto the Windows clipboard. So now you can flip over to the other application, and in this case we're going to use Notepad++, and position the cursor where you want to paste. Right click, paste, and everything that was selected in VI has been pasted into Notepad++. That previous process works fine for small sections, but if you've got a large program, one that goes over a whole screen in VI, then here's a better option. From the command line, type cp and the name of the file that you want to make a text version copy of, then a space, and what I do is I'll retype that same file name in all uppercase, but give it the extension .txt. When you press enter, you're going to notice absolutely nothing happens, or at least it looks like that. But I actually made a copy. You can take a list, and there's the copy that it just made. So now we could go over to the browser, and that'll be our next step. So in the browser, browse to where you just made a copy of that file. You'll see the TXT version of it there. Click on that. Now you're ready to select everything. Just click and drag, right click, copy. It's on the Windows clipboard. I'm going to flip over to Notepad++, paste that into a brand new document. Don't have any color coding yet, so I'm going to set the language to PHP. And voila! I've got that one done. I can save it as whatever. All right, that previous series of steps worked fine for pasting large block into Notepad++ when you don't want the line numbers. What if you just want to do a quick print and you do want the line numbers? We're going to use a slightly different approach. Cat, C-A-T, space, minus N, the name of the PHP file that you want to get a text version of, greater than, again, I'm going to put it in all caps so it stands out, and .txt once again, so that it's a text-only version. Notice CAT, that's short for concatenate. The minus N adds the line numbers. The greater than is what does the redirection of the output into the text file. Press Enter. As long as you don't see an error message, you're okay. I'm going to flip over to a browser. Now, this is the previous version, but if I refresh, because I had the same name in there, if I back up and look at that again, now it's got the line numbers. I'm going to copy all that or put it into Notepad or something. Or if you want to just print, uh, it'll print right there and you'll get the line numbers on there um, just for a quick and dirty print if you don't want to have to deal with Notepad++.